Good evening and thanks for joining us. A pair of contracts you probably don't know about could mean a better outlook for taxpayers in Terre Haute. The Terre Haute Board of Works and Safety signed the contracts in July. And recently, local leaders approached News 10's John Swanner with concerns about what these contracts could mean for the city. John joins us now with more in 10 on your side. John? Mike and Patrice, these contracts concern some local leaders for a few reasons. One, they say the contracts were not a part of the original Board of Works agenda for their July 28th meeting when these contracts were approved and signed. Two, a lot of money is involved in these contracts. And finally, they involve developments that very few people have answers about, except Mayor Duke Bennett. And we sat down with the mayor to get answers. 10 on your side asks Mayor Bennett if these are good deals for you, the city taxpayer. Since the implementation of property tax caps, we've heard plenty about how these caps have greatly reduced the city of Terre Haute's budget. Mayor Duke Bennett says it's a $9 million reduction overall, and he's been trying to find ways to make up all that lost revenue. One of the things we looked at was all of our waste streams to see is there some way we can make some money off of this. One of those waste streams is sludge. This is what's left at the end of the sewage treatment process. And as you can see, Terre Haute produces a lot of it. Currently, the city pays four and a half million dollars to have sludge hauled by truck to Kokomo, Indiana, where it's either put on farm fields or dumped. So now you may be asking, how could anyone find value in sludge? The first of two contracts signed by the Board of Works on July 28th is with a company called Powerdyne. This Orange County, California company is in the business of producing green energy. And as these guys approached us, they were looking for sludge because of a product that they wanted to make. Specifically, the mayor says Powerdyne was looking for a place to make renewable fuels, such as renewable diesel fuel. Mayor Bennett says the idea with Powerdyne took two years to reach. Paradine has agreed to build a renewable energy producing plant in Terre Haute. Mayor Bennett told me that Paradine is considering a handful of properties for this plant. That includes right here, the International Paper property on Prairieton Road. Now, I can also confirm through Fister Realty that there is a sale pending for this property, but Fister Realty wouldn't tell us who the buyer is, and they would only tell us that the closing date for this property is soon. Mayor Bennett said the city had to make a significant commitment to land the plant, the contract between the city and Powerdyne is a 20-year deal. It obligates the city to give Powerdyne 12 million gallons of sludge per month. The city will also pay Powerdyne $2.46 million per month, or just under $30 million annually. Plus, the city will purchase renewable diesel fuel from Powerdyne at a fixed price of $2.46 per gallon. So how is the city making money in this deal? That's where the second contract comes into play. This deal is between the Board of Works and Sodrill Fuels of Indianapolis. It's also a 20-year deal. Sodrill agrees to purchase fuels from Powerdyne's Terre Haute facility, and they'll go through the city to do so. Sodrill will pay the city $2.5 million monthly, or $30 million annually, securing a price of $2.50 per gallon on renewable fuels purchased. This means the city makes about $40,000 per month from the deal, or just under a half million per year. What a great opportunity to have this uh, operation in Terre Haute, but us to be able to benefit from it by taking a piece, something that is, you know, waste and turning it into a product. Mayor Bennett says the city will still have to pay to have the sludge hauled to the new Paradigm facility, but he also says the transportation costs will be cut in half, saving the city at least $2 million. Also, a new plant means jobs. Now, how many, Mayor Bennett is not sure, but Mayor Bennett sees the plant as much needed economic development for the city. We've reached out to Paradigm, but they've not responded. Mayor Bennett is hopeful the company will be making an official announcement on their development in Terre Haute soon. And as soon as we know, you'll know. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John.